Okay, so David, welcome to Stockholm. Last time we saw you on the Diamond League circuit was Paris. How have you been since then? I've uh, been pretty well. Uh, ran a competition, was able to win. Uh, you know, now back in the Diamond League, uh, really trying to go after four points as usual. You know, that's the ultimate goal here. Uh, I would love to come to Stockholm, win again for, you know, I won here in 2013 and after the world. So this could be a great springboard to the worlds for me. So, you know, looking to come out here, run fast, uh, stay healthy and, and just springboard myself to have a positive Beijing competition next month. So there's only five points that separate you and a group of athletes now. A win could kind of put that out of uh, touch for the other athletes going into the finals later this year. How much is the Diamond League kind of factored into your season? Oh, well, the Diamond League champion was one of the goals that I had this year. So um, I don't really pay attention to, like, the points and, you know, like who's doing what and where or whatever. Uh, I figure as long as I take care of my lane and, you know, keep putting my best foot forward and, and winning and things like that, everything will take care of itself. Uh, that's the most important thing in the sport is winning. So I figure if I do that, I will accumulate enough points. I don't even really know how many points that I have total, but I, you know, I know I've won a few uh, races, came second, third, you know, whatever like that. So uh, I just try to stay in my own lane and take care of my own business. Why do you think the Diamond League is able to attract the, the top guys week in, week out for, for your event, aside to some of the other events where they kind of shy away from each other? Uh, well, because we're real men, you know, in the 110 hurdles. We, we race each other. We will go after it, uh, you know, and I think it is we, we're, we compete against each other, but there's 10 barriers that you're competing against as well. So you have 12 opportunities to get the race right or 12 opportunities to get it wrong with the start, the finish and 10 barriers. So you have a lot of opportunities to do things. And, and I just want to be more consistent with uh, doing the right things. Do you think that makes it one of the most exciting races to watch in the Diamond League? Oh, of course. Of course, yes. Uh, everybody loves the, the hurdles. I think they just like it because of the whole like NASCAR effect. Like you never know something may go totally wrong or, you know, when you watch somebody run a uh, 110 hurdle race, uh, you know, and, and do it impeccably. It just is poetry in motion. You know, if you look back and like at Merit's world record run, it just is like, wow, just just poetry in motion. So it, it's, it's very beautiful to watch, you know, so it is the most entertaining uh, event in uh, athletics. So sprint hurdles aside, which event do you most look forward to watching on the Diamond League circuit? Oh man, that's tough. I just like watching like kind of like certain guys, you know, if you like the hundred meters, but you know, they never really race each other. So like the big, big guns, but you know, like Lazan was a race that was, you know, was highly hyped up and, you know, seeing Justin perform well was great. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like, you know, when Radisha was on fire and stuff like in 2010 and 2012, I'd always have to stop what I was doing to watch, you know, because you never knew what he was going to do. Uh, so it's just, just so many, uh, so many great uh, events and the great athletes like now watching the triple jump I never miss you know a triple jump competition because you know Christian Taylor who's even just just jumping so great you know position himself very well for you know athlete of the year uh, this season he's been performing well and then of course you have the Cuban uh, who's I think he's got the world leading jump uh, as well but those guys just the 18 meters they're just making it look so routine so I really look forward to watching them this season as well what do you think is the 18 meter barrier equivalent in the sprint hurdles Whew. well what has there only been four guys that have jumped 18 meters uh four or five yeah yeah so i guess that would be equivalent to running under 1290 mm -hmm. you know because there's only uh uh three of us that have run under 1290 yeah so or no four of us yeah Merritt yeah Lou uh, Robles and myself so yes that's the equivalent is probably sub 1290 so that shows you how amazing those guys are and I really hope the uh, the world of track and field is really appreciating what they're doing this season okay well good luck tomorrow and uh, we'll hope to speak to you after the event as well all right definitely cool. thanks man cheers